You need to go out. It's not raining anymore. She's ignoring me. Go we'll see what your sisters are all doing. Well, good morning, Miss Lily. Did you stay dry in the storm? You did. You. It messed up your nocturnal routine. You had to come in. Yeah. All right. You're going to sleep, ain't you? Well, I don't really have any noisy work for today. A little bit. But not too bad. Not like yesterday. All right, let me go see what your sisters are doing. Well, good morning, girls. There's Miss Millie. Yeah. <laughs> all jumpy. Well, did you guys stay nice and dry in the storm, didn't you? Yeah. She's always got to do her stretching. You need to stretch more, Tilly. Yeah, you need to do more stretching. Take a take a uh, lesson from Miss M Millie. Oh, Millie. Stretch apotamus. Ah, good morning. Happy Halloween. <laughs> bah humbug. Who cares? All right. Yeah. Doesn't that look fun? Thank goodness I got the carport. I can just pull in here. Let it sit in the truck. Yeah. That's what I did with that stuff. All right. Today. Going to tear this framing out. I'm going to rip it all out. And I am going to prep this for concrete. Yeah, hopefully I got enough. I need to get that all raked out of there. Uh, the reason I'm going to pull this framing out, it was built just for the screen. I want to build it as a wall and custom frame that new window in. But also, that's in my way. And when I reframe it, I want it on top of the concrete. So, we did have a pretty good storm last night. We didn't get much here. That, I, that I've discovered yet, but look at this. Ah, and if you get back and you see, hey, Waddles, you can see how that slopes to the house, especially now since I dug it out. So we'll fix that later. But it rained pretty good, and the only spot that got any water in here was right there. We've got I never did put flashing up here where I cut out the notch. Waddles? Or I cut out the notch for this beam. We'll get that taken care of. And one tiny little leak in the corner. No water came in and it rained quite a bit. So we're going to start with this. Get this. Uh, I bought a new shovel. Should go pretty easy. Dig it down. That rooster is in trouble. Dig it down a few inches. So we can, and uh, I'll set a form across the back. I think what I'm going to do... Is just takes <laughs> take some of that vinyl plank flooring I have and lay it up against here uh, I don't need to worry about there but against the wood I don't want it, the concrete touching the wood and that'll keep that away from that and I'll wax it up to where grease it up to where it'll pull out same thing over here there's really nothing here well there won't be anything here because I, I've got a concrete slab going that way and I'm tearing that out. So I don't know if I'll be able to salvage any. Of it. Well, of course, I'll be able to salvage some of it, but we're going to reframe the whole entire wall. I did not get lumber for that. We'll get that tomorrow once I have a plan. So for now, that's what's happening today. Maybe not that interesting. But it's part of the process. We're going to get all this tore off. None of that supports the upper deck. Uh, that is all supported by these posts. And these... Everything's, everything's on the joists here. So the floor, the roof joists. Roof rafters, whatever you want to call them. So nothing's, nothing's going to fall down when I remove all this. All right, let me change my shoes because I forgot to do that yesterday. These are my going to town shoes. Now they're dirty. All right, and it's nice and cool. Hey, this thing stayed watertight, so that's cool. But there was trees down everywhere on the on the east end of the road highway. 
almost towards town. It, it got pretty bad, man. There's a lot of people out with chainsaws, so I didn't think we got any of that. Is that tree still standing? Yep. Didn't get anything here. I slept through it if we did. All right, let's go. Got that tore down. I just need to get that piece out there. I'm gonna leave the top. They're both. They're all 16 on center. Uh, I don't see anything wrong up there. Now this door is 82 inches high. So if I didn't want to put the extension out here that I poured the concrete for, I would have to take all this out. That's too much work. That's a waste of money. Uh, there's nothing wrong with this framing up here. I'll just frame it to meet that one and we'll still go ahead and go with the extension out there. Uh, I want to go ahead and get this up so I can have that set on concrete instead of dirt. It's ready to go. I just got to beat on it a little bit. And then up here, I'm going to do something a little different. I need something on the inside of this. You can see how I've got that metal roofing kind of flipped up so it'll keep water. And it's done a good job. It has not got any moisture in there. So uh, I need to extend that flashing. You know, I don't know if you can see it, but there's flashing right there. And you can see it doesn't go far enough down here. So I can just slide another piece in there, kind of bend it down when I put on my T111. And over here, same problem. Well, we could fix that while it's off, make this water tight in there. And we'll just start with building a new wall. But after I get that piece out, I'm going to start doing the digging, getting this frame uh, formed up to ready to pour the concrete. Don't know, don't think we'll get to that today, but we'll see. Just got to get this door out, or this piece. Like that whole dad burn thing. I hope I got it screwed to the wall. It should. What's holding me here? Why, you must have forgot a screw. Yeah, I think so. Well, let's hold it. It's always something. Why do I build stuff so sturdy? I should have just built it flimsy. I wouldn't have to worry about it. Got to be a screw right there. I'll bet you that spider done went and built, where's my drill? Went and done built a nest up in that screw head. And that's why I can't see it. One there. <laughs> I knew you was in there, Mr. Screw. You're from California, ain't you? Oh, that's hot. All right. Appears to be one more. 
give it a whack and see. Yep, there is one more. I, I'll bet my life on it. The challenges of eyesight. Looking out there. Are you toenailed? Where are you? Where are you? God, don't make me get down here. Oh, thank you. About time something's conveniently in my area. I don't see anything. I just don't. But it's certainly that foam ain't holding it. I'm just going to whack the badoodles out of it. That cheap sawzall blade won't even go through a nail. I knew when I bought it, it was a waste of money, but I didn't have a choice because they didn't have any other kind. Guess I'm just going to have to get manly on it. One more of them manly blows. She ain't going to take it. She's screwed in down there somewhere. Wow, so much for manliness. Oh, I tell you. Hey, I got to do something with this cord. Well, now what's up with it? Uh, it's all connected, man. It's all right. Well, there's nothing holding that. I just need to quit this and just go sit in the library for the day. That sounds fun. Well, now you went and did it. There's that tool again. I've been using that tool all week. I just, I just ain't getting it. Seems like there's another screw somewhere. We're going to replace this anyway. Well, I'll come back. I'm just going to cut this dude in half, I guess. I don't know. Alright, we got it all out of there. There was another screw. You could see where I ripped it out. But that wall looks in good shape. Uh, definitely need to get some flashing over that piece and we're going to finish all that in there. I took, went ahead and took all that apart. It was all terrible. So we're going to redo that. This is good and level. Nothing wrong with that. We're going to reuse it and we're going to do something here. Man, this is the perfect opportunity if I want to make it bigger, but I, I really can't because I'm limited by where this pole is and this pole. Those are your main supports. So I'm going to get all this cleaned up in here, in here. And tomorrow probably will not be a video unless I'm pouring, which if I don't start today, I will tomorrow. But I got to get this out of here. I got to get all this stuff out of here, everything out of here, which means I got to clear a spot in here. So the whole day of cleaning probably. And I need to find a better spot for my grill because Tilly will not leave it alone. I don't know. Maybe I make a little awning here for the grill. I don't know what I'm going to do, but this will definitely have to go. That means I got to take all them weights out because there's no way it can be moved with the weights on it. This I might put in the dog apartment for now. I'm not even going to probably use this thing. I got that bike, so the, the weight machine is the main thing I want. I don't really care about any of that. I do enough work. I get my exercise. I don't need a treadmill. All right, let me get it, everything cleaned up and we'll start digging this out. All right, got them all cleaned out. I could get something sharp and cut that foam out of there and we're ready to dig. But man, I hope my back's going to be all right. I was walking over here. These leaves are dangerous. All right, here's a ditch. <laughs> I was walking over towards the dogs. I was going to pet them and I stepped right in that ditch, jerked my back. 
it doesn't hurt or nothing yet, but we'll see. Scared the heck out of you, didn't it, Melly? Yeah, she doesn't like any sudden movements like that. Come here. I'm okay. Yeah, she's concerned. Yeah, she's concerned too. I'm okay. I think I'm all right. We got to get back to work, but I'm going to walk around a bit. You know, I want to see what a... It always looks like this on Halloween in the morning here. Let me go back here. I got to be careful. I don't want to step in another hole. Nice, misty, foggy morning. Spooky. Fall colors. Usually, we don't get all the leaves falling like this at once, but we've had a lot of wind. Yeah, look how cool that looks. Misty morning. Smells good. I love that smell of the fallen leaves and the wet rain. Now, this is what fall is supposed to look like. Minus the large burn pile. These girls are having a ball in the leaves. I, sh I should rake up a big old pile for them to play in. I know they would. Would you guys play in the leaves if I raked it up? Yeah. That's slippery up there, Mo. They're full of it this morning. I got to get back to work. These guys are all out. The ground's wet. Good pickings. Get the bugs out of the ground. There's Waddles. Go we'll see what he's got to say. They love this yard. Liking your new yard, Waddles? He loves it. You're four years old now, Waddles. Four and a half. I seen it on the Facebook this morning. Yep. You guys came here four years ago today. He don't give a crap. He's just waddling. Alright, that was some easy digging there. I just got to scoop that out. This is a little bit harder, but it ain't going to be bad. But where the old room used to be, there's concrete. You can see it right there. I'll have to dig that out. But... I gotta go sit down for a while. I uh, started put that shovel in right there and yeah, I heard something. So I gotta go sit down and rest. I think that'll fix it. Listen, you, I don't need you in here. I gotta go, Telly. Uh, Telly, don't need any of you in here grabbing stuff. This is a no puppy zone right in here. Just cause the wall's gone, don't mean you can come in. Uh -uh. Cause she'll grab stuff and chew it up. You got my GoPro one time when I was building this originally. Yeah, you did. You, yeah, you, yeah, you go back in your doghouse. She's just got that look like she's going to get in trouble. All right, I'll come back. I got to go rest for about a half hour. Then I should be fine. I don't want to push it. But that's cool. All right, folks. That'll be it for the work today. <laughs> yeah, I... I went to grab the door to put in front of the where I tore the wall out to keep Tilly out because Tilly gets in a lot of trouble. You guys may not think it, but that one you got to keep your eye on all the time. So, and I went to pick it up. Yeah, I'll be fine probably tomorrow, but I'm not going to push myself anymore today. But I want to thank everybody for watching uh, the entire month of October, which I call Dogtober. I donate all the revenue from every video. I do a video every day. I think I missed a day or two. I don't know. I think I made up for it on this channel. I think I missed a day or two on the other channel. But it doesn't do that well. So it doesn't matter much. Uh, right now, we're about $1,500 earned. Uh, we still got today's video and to add up. So we might hit sixteen. dollars I haven't been getting the views on uh, Dogman channel, so if you can hop over there and watch a couple of them, get that revenue up a little bit. Man, yesterday video was terrible over there. It's just kind of, it did good for a while. I guess it depends on the topic, but, you know, this is the main breadwinner channel here, so. But I appreciate everybody doing it. We'll probably do it, well, we'll see where we're at next year. See if we're going to do it next year. We'll do something. Uh and hopefully I'll be back. I'm not going to stop filming the build. 
So that will come out as I do it. You'll get to see every bit of that. And then we'll figure out what to go what to go do next. Thanks for watching. Happy trails.